few years ago, we made a demo on how the spatial position of items on the desktop and their thumbnails would help us managing documents. Many of those managing techniques can be applied to hierarchies as well. Even if we lose all the positive sides of spatial memory, we can't deny positive sides of hierarchies as well, despite all their lags described by several researchers. In the last few years, desktops were armed with great search engines that work in real time and can work across document types and cross tools. But all these desktop search engines support only teleporting which means that when we click on the item on the list of items corresponding to our search criteria, computer immediately opens software registered with the items type. But what if these search engines would be integrated in file managers and we would be able to apply faceted search on different criteria? This would help us understand our hierarchies better and could even lead to more filing instead of piling. Let's take a look at some of the possibilities. We have a search box on the right upper corner in this slightly modified file manager. If we type, for example, the word interactions in it, we are immediately presented with a list of files that match the criteria. If we click on an item on the list, we also see its location in the hierarchy. As we can see that the file complete.doc is located in the folder ITI 2007 and we can even see all its parent folders. The same if we click on another item on the list. But let's hide the list of found items and look at the results in the hierarchy. All folders that contain files corresponding to our search criteria got red backgrounds. This could help us remember where the files we are looking for are located. If we open the folder papers, we can see its subfolder ITI underscore 2007 in red. And if we click on it, we can see all files that correspond to our search criteria in that folder. Let's take a look at how faceted search would work in our example. In our example, we will see how faceted search works in addition to the search engine results. But, but faceted search could be used without the search engine as well. We have a double slider here of the time scale on creation time. If we drag left slider to the right, for example, all folders and files that were not created in the selected time period become transparent. It is important that we can still see the whole hierarchy to be able to understand our information space. We could, for example, have an option to always make transparent all items that were not opened, modified or created in the last three months, for example. We can call this archiving. Items that are not often used don't draw our attention but are still there and not completely out of sight. If we pass over an item with a mouse pointer, some information about it is, it is displayed besides the thumbnail. We can quickly scan all thumbnails and their information. There are other criteria that we can select for more specific faceted search. We could select the time period in which items were last modified or opened. We could search for items of a specific file size or type or even length for audio and video files and dimensions for images and video files. Let's select document type and see what options do we have. Here, we can see file types that exist in our information space. Default option is to show all file types. If we, for example, deselect PDF files, all files of this type would become transparent. We can reset all search criteria by clicking on the X in the search box. This was the end of the search part of this demo, but let's take a look at the feature which is not directly connected with the searching, but we liked the idea from the Jones and Evans book titled Personal Information Management published in 2008. We often recreate the folder structure. If we follow, for example, a few courses at university, 
and all of them have the same folder structure in our file hierarchy. And we want to add another course, it would be nice to copy the folder structure only. It can be the same for projects or in our or in our in our examples expenses. If we look at the January folder of 2009 folder of our uh, parent folder expenses, there are few files in it. But we would like to have the same structure for the year 2010 with no files in it and no files in any subfolder. If we click on the 2009 folder, we have an option of copying the folder structure only. This, options, this option would not be displayed if we click on a file, for example. This demo shows how a real-time search engine and pasted search would help users find their information items and better understand their personal information space. It doesn't address fragmentation of information across different software and formats or even devices, but it addresses some of the problems we are facing while searching for our files. It supports orienteering around the hierarchy as the often used technique for searching with the support of today's desktop search engines.